Hey everybody, this is Collector Dude. I'm back with part two of the uh, comic books of the Bronze Age and the Copper Age and the Modern Age. And that's like for year, the years where I read, I had wrote it down and it's got like uh, Golden Age is like 1938 to 1956 and Silver Age is 1956 to 1970. Bronze Age is 1970 to 1984. And they got a copper age in here thrown in there because modern age is like from 1984 to now. But they threw copper age in there from 1984 to 1991, which is like um, from Marvel with Secret Wars in 1984 to uh, Jim Lee's X-Men in 1991. And it's kind of like from 1985 to the present, but... You could say they they got a copper age from 1984 to 1991, and then modern age from 1992 to, to present. But it's pretty cool. I, I had looked it up online to see exactly what that what it was, how they had the cutoff times. I thought it was pretty cool to see that. So um, anybody can look it up. You can check it out yourself and everything. But let's look. Let's get into these books because this is what you're here to see. I want to show you these and everything. But uh, this is Batman. Batman. They usually cross him over with a lot of different characters. Everything and like cool crossovers is when he crosses over with characters from other companies like Image or or Marvel. But this is Batman, Glow in the Dark number thirty or five thirty. But these are all Glow in the Dark covers. I have to try them out one time. And this is number five thirty one. He's got Dead Man in there. And here's number five thirty two. All Dead Man. He's working with them, but these came out. This is uh, May '96. This one's uh, June '96. This one's July '96, 1996. So we'll put uh, some more down here. So I got two copies of this one uh, that came out in April '94. I'm gonna be all over the place with this because I was trying to put them in order. I said, you know, what? forget. I got so many of them. Night Quest. These I think are going for a little bit of money, but maybe not. I thought it was a cool cover, so I grabbed both of them. They were next to each other. Um, but this is Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, a Night Quest uh, story. But uh, Quarry, part one of three. And this one came out in April 94. And here we got these. These are cool. Batman Returns and Batman and Robin. Everything like that. Um, the movies were... Uh, uh, but they were... They are what they are. And everything so I thought these were cool when I picked them up so those are it now we got a Batman Legends of the Dark Knight Halloween special by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sell I thought that was cool and then this one came out I think it was 95 or something like that I, I looked it up I, I should have wrote it on the back but it, it, these are all like all these comic books are 2000 on down to um, 1970 something like that I think because I, like I said they're all bronze yeah to 1970 at the earliest here's Batman crossing over again with aliens I thought that was cool that's a cool cover look at that Bernie Wrightson very awesome and then we got Batman Predator. I think I got the first one somewhere. I get it. Like I said, it's another box. Like I said, I'm all over the place. This is number two of three. And that was cool. So he's got Batman Aliens and he's got Batman fighting with the Predator. Here's number three of three. Wow. Man, he messed up the Batman, but he's like, he's like, man. <laughs> You know that's just gonna set me back. <laughs> oh man, what are you? He's saying. Here's Batman, Mister Freeze. Cool. That's a cool cover. Then we got Batman Scarecrow 3D. This came out in uh, 1998, December 1998. It said glasses are included, but they weren't in this one. This was a half price books find. But the glasses weren't in there, so hopefully I'll get them later or find some glasses that'll work with it. Here's Punisher Batman. That's Azrael Batman. The different Batman. 
with the Punisher. And it doesn't have the year on the outside, but like I said, all of these are lower. You can check them all out if you want to uh, test and see if I got it correctly or not. Here's Batman, Ten Knights of the Beast. I'm going to take a picture of this and post this on the, uh, I'm on the Aparo page on Facebook. I'm going to have to post this. This is my exact cover, but um, I have to open it up and show the artwork on the inside from Jim Aparo. And these are cool. There's another one that Batman's with. Batman and Tarzan. This is number one of four. I got these all at Half Price Books. Here's number two of four. Look at that bright red cover. That is cool. And I got two of them. And here's number three of four. I got two of these. Very cool cover. And then we got four of four. Look how cool that is. You see the red, yellow, and then blue. Look at that. Man, oh man. So, look at all the nice coloring on the covers. Now we got Batman. I found this one. I thought it was cool when I saw it. I didn't know it was going to be worth as much as it was. These are cool. Batman and Hellboy. I got two copies of this. With Starman also. That's book one. You see the picture is 98. So it's around there when it came out. Then I got another copy of this one. New Adventures of uh, Batman. Number 408. That came out in June of 1987. Here we go with Batman 489. Look how small Bane is. I think that's before he's all juiced up there. I think that's Killer Croc with Robin back there. That's a Travis Chair's cover. That is cool. One of his early artworks. Then I got a bunch of these. Look at this. This is what I was talking about here. I got um, two of these. Like two without the paper. And then... One with the paper. I think I got a bunch more of these. I can't find them. Like I said, I'm all over the place, so I'll, you'll probably see them again. This is Batman 497. When he breaks Batman's back. The breaking of the Batman. You thought it could never happen. Really? Did you think it could never happen? And let's see if it says a date on there. June of 93. And see, these are reprints here. So this says down here, July... 13th of 93. So they made a reprint real quick. Then we got Captain Carrot and the Amazing Zoo Crew. Fun tabulous first issue. Have no fear. The Zoo Crew is here. Came out in March. That's number one. I'm not sure what year, but like I said, they're all before 2000. And then we go back over here. We got Secret Origins featuring Legion of Superheroes. But it says, cross that out with Substitute, featuring Dr. Light. Ha, witless fools, soon you shall feel the power of Dr. Light's three-way bulbs of death. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> look, look at, look at what one says. One says, hurt. Two says, oh, now that really hurts. <laughs> Three says kill. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, February 89. They came out with... That was in 89 when they was doing all that freshness. <laughs> wow. Okay. Now we got Secret Origins fe featuring Animal Man and Man Bat. This came out April 89. Animal Man and Man Bat. What's going on here? What is he doing? Get off me. Now we got Batman Year One. I love the movie that they made, animated movie of this. This came out in February of 87. Frank Miller and David Mazzuchelli. Loved it. Here we go with Batman number four, I mean 534, Detective Comics. A giant Venus flytrap? Wrong. More like a bat trap. Ooh, witty. Okay, here we go. We got Detective Comics number 609 with Anarchy on the cover. Not the first appearance, but he's on there. 
I like Roy Forgo's artwork. I met him years ago. He was a really cool guy. I told him I loved his artwork. He goes, thank you very much. <laughs> now we got this one. This is Gotham City, Batman Gotham City, Secret Files, and Origins. Profiles, Histories, Locations, Origins, Revelations, Apocrypha. Number one, April 2000. See? Got it going to 2000. Now I got two of these. I'm going to use one of these for a giveaway eventually. Two Batgirl copies. Special Batgirl, number one. This came out in 1988. Busting through the glass. I just saw that movie Wanted. The uh, guy busting through the glass and everything. Thought that was cool. Okay, we got Hawk and Dove. Two copies of this one. Number one. This came out October 88. 1988. I have yet to see the live action ones on TV. I haven't been watching that um, DC book, uh, show, but I have to check it out and see what it's like. Everything, because I guess they got Dove as a girl now. So here we go with this. And we got um, US 1, number 1, May. And that looks like 1983 there. That's very cool. High Adventure. Trucking down the highway. Wow, look at this. You come around a corner like that. Woohoo! I saw a video on YouTube. They were showing a video, or either it was YouTube or Facebook, and it had a truck coming around a corner too fast. It looked like this one, and it just flipped right off the highway. I was like, oh my goodness. I couldn't even imagine, man. Wow. But love trucks, love truckers, everything. Okay, here we go. Huntress, number one. Let me see, this one came out in June 1994. Wow, that's a really dark cover there. Then we got another Huntress number one. This came out April 1989. First issue, it says. Okay, now this one, I like this cover. This is cool. Gil Kane. This is a, a DC annual, DC Comics Presents annual, Superman and Shazam. This came out in 1984. It's number three. And Savannah has powers. He's got green. Wow, man. And here we go. I got, I got a bunch of these. I got two copies of Blue Beetle number one. And this came out in June of 1986. Watch out, world. The blue or the beetle is back. And adventuredom will never be the same. Wow. Now we got number two here. This came out in July of 86. The other one was June of 86. In final conf conflagration with Fire Fist, the incendiary man. Wow. He looks like I, I I I don't want to be burnt. Don't shoot. Don't do that. Don't shoot me with that fire. You don't want that. Now we got Blue Beetle number three. This came out August 1986. Mixes it up with the malevolent madmen. They look crazy. You know, I'm all different colors and everything. Now we got number four over here. This came out September 8, 86, 1986. The Beetle Battles and Ancient Evil. The Elemental Madness of Dr. Alchemy. Wow. Now we have number five. Guest starring the most mysterious superhero of all. Who is that? Mm hmm. There it is. The question is back, and the answer is murder. That's a cool cover. And we got the last one here. This is number six. I'm not sure if they went further or not, but these are all I could get. This one came out in October of '86. This one came out in November of '86, 1986. Blue Beetle face off. Space clusters is coming. Wow. All right. You see, now I got 
these last three here. These are really cool. The artwork's really nice in these. I got two copies of this one. Superman, Last Son of Earth, book one of two. Elseworld story. And these were like new. They were all like, when I opened them up just to look through them, they were cracking. So it's like somebody turned these in. They were like new. Just beautiful artwork. I get, like I said, they got two copies of it. And this is number two of two. Superman, Last Son of Earth, Elseworlds. Very cool. Okay, I'm going to pause it and let and get some more books. Okay, we're back. We're with Action Comics now. This came out in June of 1985. Superman starring in Action Comics. It's romance for Superman, Jimmy, and Lois when Jimmy becomes the amazing matchmaker of Metropolis. Wow. He's winking. And then we got uh, World's Finest. This one came out in October, but it doesn't say a date on the cover there. But this is very cool, too. Cyclops. Look at Superman or Batman holding on. He was like, you better hold on a little bit tighter. How can he hang on to him like that? With Earth destroyed, you'll have to fight for your new world without our help. Oh, man. That ain't good. Now we got 52 pages over here, all new, no ads, non-stop, cover-to-cover action. This came out in March 1984 for a dollar, wow. This is um, World's Finest number 267. Five fantastic features. Superman on the cover with Batman, they're all falling. We called Superman and Batman for help against the Gravity Masters, but they failed. Now the entire population of, of the Earth is being hurled off the planet. Wow. The world's finest team meets the challengers of the unknown. Okay, let me get some more here. We got world's finest. This was come, came out in November. It's for a dollar. Number 273. So it was probably like a 1981 uh, as well, but they didn't put the put the uh, month and date on there like the other one did. Or they put the month on, but not the date or year, I mean. Look how cool these covers are. Just so much stuff on them. Non-stop cover-to-cover action. Superman, Batman, Green Arrow, Shazam, Hawkman, and Plastic Man. Free. The latest edition of the Daily Planet. Superman and the others are now my mindless zombies, Batman. And their first victim will be you. Wow. Plastic Man. Look at this one. This is special. Plastic Man is back in all-out action. Everything had to be action. All out, too. Twice the action, twice the thrills. Look at Superman's face. Look at all their faces. No eyes. Mm, they're coming for Batman. He doesn't have any eyes either. But he looks okay without eyes. Because he's always, always like that. Unless Alex Ross is painting them. He puts eyes in there. These don't have any eyes. Oh, man. Okay, now we, what do we got here? See, these are all the books that I got when a guy, when he worked at Half Price Books, he said, I hope you get a lot of books that you like. Older stuff, too. And then, like I said, a couple of months later, he quit, and I wasn't able to get a lot of stuff. I got a few things, but not everything. But it's cool, because I still keep finding good books. And plus, all the other stores people work at, they're really cool when they put stuff out. This is Bat Family Giant, number eight. Starring Robin in his first novel-length solo adventure, The Copycat Capers. The Copycat Girl Capers. Mm. Also, Batgirl's last case. Uh-oh, she must have messed up. Villain of the issue? The Spinner. What? Okay. <laughs> What's Robin doing? She's got him with the whip. He's got her with the batarang. Okay. Okay, now we got another Batman family book. This one came out in July. Number 18. The other one was number 8. Dollar Comics, 80 pages, all new stories. More pages, more stories than ever before. 
Batman family. It, it can't be. Gotham sewers are haunted by... Demons. Oh my goodness. Look at the hands. Spooky, macabre. At last, in her own series, The Huntress. Let me do a few more and then I'll stop so it's not too long. I'll make it like 25 minutes, something like that. Okay, we got this one, this one, and a GI Combat. Okay, we got Adventures, Adventure Comics. This one came out August of 1979. It's Adventure Comics number 464. You got Flash, Wonder Woman, Dead Man, Aquaman, the Justice Society of America. Five all new super, super, superstar features. 68 pages, no ads from cover to cover. Cool. We must release him before he destroys us all. Too late, you fools. Now I can't stop. <laughs> oh, man. In this issue, a double length dead man thriller. Requiem. Boy, dead man. Okay, now we got this one. Still your best buy. Dead man, Flash, Aquaman, Dollar Comics. For all four all new superstar features. This one came out in October for a dollar. Number 465. Adventure Comics. We got another exciting novelette featuring the JSA. And there's Flash, Dead Man, and Aquaman. What in the world? He's okay. He, he's floating. He's running and he's swimming. Okay, I like how uh, when George Perez draws him, we have all these bubbles around him and everything. So let's see this. Okay, what else is in here? Dead Man primed for action on the brick battleground. Flash in a desperate race against time to discover who's invading Central City. Aquaman in Ice Pact. Okay. Now we got the last one here for this video. We got America's number one battle mag. The Big War Book. May. This is GI Combat number 253. Paid a dollar for that one. Back then. I forget what I paid. I'll have to check and see if it's on the back there. That's a cool cover. Look at that. Joe, Joe Kubert. The dad of Andy. And Adam. Two haunted tank thrillers. Secret Invader. A Gift of War, Winter Kill, Front Row at the Execution, Dog Bait, No Place for Mercy. Wow. Okay, what's I pay? What I pay for this one? Oh, there's no price on it, so it might have been a dollar. You know what? Usually when it doesn't have a price on it, I usually pay a dollar for them, and I'm surprised when I get them for that. Okay. What do you guys think of this and everything? Hopefully, I'll, I'll keep doing these and get through these. But see, look, I have this short box here, and that whole long box there. So I'll be doing a lot of these to try to get through this. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys like this and everything. I'm trying to make it exciting and fun. It's just something that you can watch or listen to for background noise and just look up and see what these books look like. And hopefully I can get through and do flip throughs to them as well and talk about the books. Like I said, there's so many books I have. If I can do flip throughs of these, it'd be something cool too that you can see what the artwork looks like in them. Let me know what you guys think. But you guys have a great day and I'll be doing another one. Oh, you know, one more thing I wanted to say. One of my, on the first video, I, I mistakenly said this was book number 463. It's 464, my mistake. And I think I put it in the notes down on the, on the bottom. But um, it's Action Comics starring Superman, number 464. All right, guys, you guys have a great day. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think. And Collector Dude is out.